Ugh. He's Icelandic. Who? Dothi, I believe that's the right pronunciation because it's D-A, then a weird letter that's Icelandic. I, Friar. Indrani introduced me to him. New music artist. He's freaking amazing. Look him up. He only has like six songs out right now. And he's fantastic. Shout out to uh, the Icelanders. Yeah, baby. Just Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction to you, it's the poor man. I'm Rick. We got a new trailer. Of a movie, I assume. Yes. On movie screens, or uh, OTT platform, or both. I think it's Amazon. By the way, uh, I saw... It's a new horror film. That, good. Yay. I saw... What movie was it? I don't know. There's a recent movie that came out. Spider-Man. No. Uh, that did... Spider-Man! That did incredibly well, even though... It did well in the box office, even though it was OTT at the same time, which I think is also what happened with uh, Cruella, wasn't it? Yes. Simultaneous release and yeah. did really well at the box office. So, uh, I, Eternals? Right, maybe that too. Uh, what? No. Anyway, I like this because prior to COVID, you couldn't release anything on OTT platforms till three months after the movie was gone from theaters. So I hope now they I stick wish, to this. I wish everything would be, you can buy simultaneous. it like for $30, yes. which is the price of basically two tickets here in LA. Um, on for you can watch it once. Yep. You can't own it's not owning, but you can watch it uh, at the same time that it's in theater. So people like me that have a two year old can watch. Or somebody who doesn't want to go out and be exposed to That's anything true. with COVID still. That's true. And regardless of COVID, there's people that are homebound. They'll never get to a theater. They should be able to see it when it's released. I, this I, is great. I, I wish everyone would continue that. Yeah. Anyways, but this is a new horror Hindi horror trailer. It's with Emran Hashmi. Great. Apparently, he likes doing horror. Um, it's called Debuck. Debuck. Debuck uh, stops here. It's with Imran Hashmi and Nikita Dutta and Manav Kao. And if we mispronounce Debuck, well, Debuck stops here. <laughs> it's double entendre there. Yeah, yeah, Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. It's an upcoming Hindi supernatural horror film written and directed by JK, produced by T Series and Panorama Studios. The film starring Emron Hashmi in the lead role is a remake. Sorry of 2017 Malayalam film Ezra. Okay, obviously let us know in the comments yeah, how is Ezra? if we should see Ezra first or yeah. avoid it and just see this. Um, more like remake would, am I right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> I'm just giving you all that little little cheese that, that you were waiting for. Sneaky foot cheese. Uh, here we go. Stall, Rick, stall! Stupid. Here we My go. Thing stalled. Gruesome killing of a local has sent shockwaves throughout the city. Wow, vacation spot pe reh rahe ho. Big B. Sure is. Vacation bana rahe hain, main kaam kar raha hu. Mahi kaisi hai? You know how this fun. Miscarriage handle करना इतना आसान नहीं है। माही तो मैं ये घर ये जगह पसंद है ना। पसंद नहीं होती तो इतना सजाने का थोड़ी सोचते। Dutch made है वैदम। 300 साल पुराना। There's a pentagram on there. Don't touch the hair. Dissatisfied spirits को body से अलग करके box में बंद करने का। वो उन spirits को Hebrew में शेडिंग बुलाते थे। पर जो भी हो, इस टीम को कभी भी खोलना नहीं चाहिए। Don't open the box. Ooh, ooh, that's a gross sound. इस समय माही जो सोच रही है, देख रही है, महसूस कर रही है, वो वही सब कर रही है जो वो चाहता है। Hey, 
डिपो बॉक्स से निकली हुई रोड जब तक सब कुछ बर्बाद नहीं कर देगी तब तक वापस ले जाएगी Like it could be pretty darn creepy. Nice way to end the month of October there. It says it's coming October 29th. Yeah, that looks like that could be pretty dis disturbing. And that the sounds that they went along, like when that thing was crawling in the bed and that <laughs> gross Wet sound. sound. Oh, that was disgusting. Uh, yeah, it looked like it could be kind of pretty scary. It could be scary. It also looks like it could be a hot mess where there's yeah. just too much too going much. on. Yeah. Nothing interlaces, and you're like, okay, what is happening anymore? Yeah, I think I've heard about. The film that they said Ezra, that's what they called it, right? Yeah, the Molly Allen um, film. I think I've people said so. Obviously, you know we love the Molly Allen film industry. They think it's a fantastic industry. So if you guys say that one's a really good, one. I've I haven't heard about that for horror month though. So I don't. Yeah, you know, maybe it wasn't great, and I don't know. Maybe, or not maybe, known. Who knows? I have no clue. You guys can let me know. Um, but yeah, we definitely. I, so he's also done that other horror one that we, we saw with Kalki. Right. Uh, and I think he's done even more horror than that. Just He must be a, a guy, I guess, um, uh, Anushka Sharma also loves doing horror. Scary stuff. Scary. Yeah. Um, you said you're writing. And man, he sounded like Big B. What? That was definitely Big B. And you said you sounded what? Didn't you say you were writing a horror film? No, I, I well, I they're easy for me to think of them. Mm-hmm. And so I would really like to do one. I have an idea that I, I won't do this year, but I will next year for a short film. I was going to do it, but other things came up in my personal life that caused me to put that on the side bar for now. I don't want to give it to my, to my attention, but I will next year. A short film. But yeah, I, I, just, I don't know why. Well, I think I know why. They're really easy to make. Oh yeah, they could be really cheap too. Yeah, exactly. Um, but I'd like to, like, if I was going to make one, I would want it to be worthy of, like, you know, my, f my favorite creators of the thriller and horror genre, like, obviously, Hitchcock, and then uh, Us and Get Out are the two most recent great ones, and Evan Michael Flanagan. If you haven't seen Midnight Mass, if you've seen Haunting of Hill House and Haunting of Bly Manor, you're, you're a Flanagan fan, you should see Midnight Mass, and without giving you any spoilers... Don't expect it to be like those other two. This is a very different thing. It's a passion project of his. It's worth watching. It's on Netflix. So this director is a new director, it looks like, too. Yeah, the sound was great. <laughs> All of the sound effects on that were really good. So it's a, it looked like it had some really good an scary antique sequences. Antique Jewish box. You ever had one of those? Never. And I don't know what they're referring to when they're when they're talking about this. But thing. you're not you're not but like the, uh, a practicing. I'm not a practicing Jew. No, my family was. I mean, my great great grandfather He's just was a cantor. And I've got, you know, my DNA is definitively got Jewish. And people get so confused by that. They're like, wait a minute, you're a Christian but you're Jewish. It's like, yeah. <laughs> How does that work? Well, the Jews are a people that, like Italians, they actually have a DNA, and their faith is also linked to their personhood. So yeah. it's not hard. Yeah. I, but yeah, yeah, I'm I'm Jewish. Do you ever have a yarmulke? No, but on Friday nights we do Sabbath at, at the at the Osroffs, Ashley and Harrell, and wear a yarmulke on that night. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'll pass over. Do you have a? But bar, I've never had a personal one. Do you ever have a bar mitzvah? Or no, bat mitzvah. I didn't. I didn't have any of that at all. They will probably do a bat mitzvah for Evie. Yeah, uh, that would not surprise me. But it'll be very, you know, open, free, happy, like our Sabbath things are on Friday night. Yeah, Mess messianic Jewishness, if you know what that is. Yeah. Anyways, uh, yeah, that looked cool. Uh, let us know. Uh... What, we need to watch. Uh, I'm hoping to get to one of his films soon. Yeah, because uh, we mentioned we, that we need to watch some of him. So, what should our next one be? Should it be that as a horror one? Um, obviously, this is not out yet, so you guys can't tell us if it, if it's any good. But when it comes out, let us know how it is, and what should be the next Imran Hashmi film that we watch down below. Josh!